Hello again, everybody, and welcome once again to another episode of Tech Times Daily. I'll be your host for today, Christian Tejares, and with me is my co-host, Christopher the Nonstopper, the king of the ring of conversations, Joe Bill Banter. He's the godfather of Gab, the great Christopher Short. <laughs> hey, What's Chris. up, man? Yeah. What's up? How's it, how's it going today? Again, it's still hot. I, I can't wait for... It's funny to think that I'm thinking of waiting or i'm excited for the for the rainy season here so right yeah i know it's like uh well, it's 36 right now yeah so for our non celsius uh, <laughs> uh it's like living people, in a volcano a, i guess <laughs> so. it's about 97 degrees right now yeah so I'd like to take this opportunity actually to thank our audience for the past couple of weeks uh, for giving us a positive response. And the the 80% of our audience that still hasn't subscribed, we do encourage you to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell to inform you of incoming uh, new episodes. Yeah, so, please. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, our topic for today comes to us from our Tech Times writer, Aldon Domingo. And his article is titled, uh, X loses Hyundai ads over pro-Nazi content again. Elon Musk X is reported to have lost Hyundai as their automaking giant pauses its advertising on the platform due to brand safety issues after pro-Nazi and anti-Semitic content appeared alongside the company's ads. The current Hyundai ad in issue appeared on the profile of a user who has championed Nazi leader Adolf Hitler and promoted anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Before thir Thursday's ban, the account claimed to be headquartered in Australia. It has almost 55,000 followers after posting under a pseudonym. The account was eventually suspended because its bio contains anti-Semitic stereotypes. Hyundai ran the commercial for around six weeks, focusing on climate change to reach politicians. Well, Chris, why do you think this type of issue is only happening on X and we are not hearing that much on Facebook or, or the rest of the social media platforms? Why is it so prevalent? Um, well, I think there was a shift right when Elon took over um, because for a long time, uh, Facebook and Twitter were kind of on the same page. Right. How like so? as far as as far as like censorship goes. You know, like censorship was is a lot more prevalent on Facebook, even to even now, because obviously there was no change of hands. So a lot of policies haven't changed. Whereas with Twitter, you know, Jack Dorsey is out. Elon Musk is in. There's been a lot of policy changes, um, a lot of relaxed mm -hmm. moderation. And I think this is just a byproduct and just Honda. Hyundai or Hyundai or whatever you however you say it, uh, it just it was just <laughs> just, just bad it. luck. <laughs> yeah, like of all, you know, I see so many boobies on Twitter. Like I'm sure that would be much better than uh, Hitler wasn't such a bad guy posts. Yeah, this is the first for our channel being able to mention Adolf Hitler, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. To the YouTube mods, this is unintentional, by the way. So. Well, you know, it's it's relevant. It's not just for shits and giggles. Like this, you know, this 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 profile from Australia apparently um has a history of this type stuff. And I feel like it's just one of those um you know, troll accounts, right? Like they just like to to get people pissed off. Uh I mean, just this, just this post alone had nine thousand interactions in yeah, forty-seven think, minutes. Yeah, do you think uh, Elon Musk suddenly relaxing the check mark, meaning you can actually buy it, makes this even more prevalent now than before? Uh, prevalent? No, but it does make it, I think, a little more. Like the shock value is a little stronger, right? It's like, oh, this is a verified account that's saying this stuff. Well, what is verified if all you have to do is pay for it? What even are you? It's verified you have money. That's the only thing that's verified. 
like the, the very ability to actually pay for it actually devalued <laughs> the check mark right yeah yeah absolutely like anybody can i mean i mean what what is it eight dollars i don't even know whatever eight ten twelve dollars a month whatever it may be i mean what is that to a person that's like a professional troll yeah we have to emphasize emphasize the word again in the title because yeah it, it happened last year right with disney apple mm. and microsoft actually leaving the platform when it comes to their advertising so and i, I guess elon musk already is part of the company then right he's already uh, acquired it mm. you have di they not learned anything from the departure of those major advertisers for the, ma uh, the major brands well apparently according to ben Arak, who is who is ben Arak again uh Joe Benarock, he's the head of X business of X business operations. Yeah, yeah. He said that uh, Hyundai didn't activate the brand safety settings control available, so they're throwing this back on Hyundai. It's like y'all didn't do it. Y'all didn't set your shit up right. <laughs> y'all didn't specify. You didn't want Nazi content, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Y'all didn't check. <laughs> y'all didn't tick the box. Uh, I am not crazy so, so even having that content was actually an option for them right it, it wasn't actually banned right off the jump that's a bit weird well i don't think it should be illegal to be a piece of shit and, you know what i mean like reality, it should. <laughs> i mean but you know it's like it's just because you're a jackass doesn't mean that you shouldn't you know like Again, it's like thought. It's like thought police, right? Like, yeah, whoever this person is, I don't think this is a real account. I think this is a, this is an account just to just to just to piss people off, just to troll. But nonetheless, man, I mean, if you want to be a jackass, you have the right to be a jackass. Fair enough. At the same time, we non jackasses have the right to treat you like a jackass. And they made it so easy to be verified as a jackass, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like only jackasses want to be verified now. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I have no interest in being verified on Twitter. Yeah, was it a week ago that we actually reported on Twitter actually cleaning up bots? You think this account would be part of that cleanup? I well, think yeah, this it's, account if, is it's not a bot that's actually just promoting it. That's just completely sad. On their I part. think this account is one of the reasons why that that effort is needed. You know, pay, pay from down under or whatever. Like the picture looks AI. Yeah, I think if it if the Twitter account actually how has that much followers, I think it's more telling. Of the people that are actually following these, like I don't believe fifty five thousand followers, all of them are bots. Exactly, that's that's kind of the point. You are you hit the nail on the head. You know, being a jackass, like I said, is just going to happen, right? There's jackasses everywhere. Um, it's the people that that fuel this that you know are the the you know those are the problem. It makes it easier to actually organize these things nowadays. Because yeah, you need it gives reach. one account. And just just the mere fact of how being able to have your Twitter account or X account be verified with that mm -hmm. check mark. Not a lot of people know that it's paid. I think still a couple of people in the yeah. world don't even know that you can actually pay for it. Not a lot of people actually go online to actually know these informations. Probably see that check as someone with authority. That further strengthen their belief in these things yeah so yeah kind of this lady uh the freelance writer that that brought this to everyone's attention um nancy levine stearns um she said that hyundai motor north america spokesperson emailed her about the ad on x appearing on a verified premium account that posts pro hitler anti-semitic content i think this premium account thing has lost its 
has lost its oomph. It became meaningless, like it, actually. I mean, unless, you know, the, the fact that it's premium, you know, gives it more visibility. You know what I mean? Like getting I'd, a driver's license without going to have to go through the pains of going through DMV. <laughs> true. So they got a fixer over there at, at Twitter. Right. I mean, I think if I were to use my personal account and post something this asinine and inflammatory and just anti-Semitic, like, I don't think I would get the reach that this premium account gets. And you would think you wouldn't want anyone want, would want to be associated with, associated with this type of thing, right? Right. Even if you feel that way. Yeah. Like, don't put it on, <laughs> like, you know, I don't advertise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've heard, I've heard before, I've heard for years, you know, the, the real racists, the real anti-Semites are, are quiet about it. Yeah. They're subtle. Yeah. Like a fart from a vegetarian. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> subtle, but worse than any other type of person. Right. That's the same thing in racism, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, the, the real racists, the real anti-Semites, they're not loud like this. This is what do you just... think Twitter can actually do to actually at least prevent this from happening again? Because they did mention they have safeguards against it. I, I was just surprised that it wasn't actually set by default. I mean... This is the type of big thing you'd want on a default setting. True. True. But I mean, this feels like I feel like a, a an option would maybe be like a security deposit, right? You want to be premium. You're already paying a monthly thing, right? Um, why not pay up front for the year or whatever it may be? hundred bucks, I guess. Not even that much, really. And if there's a point where you do some shit like this, your account is canceled banned blocked whatever it is removed and you don't not get a refund so now so now there's kind of like there's 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 money at stake you know what i mean because how else do you get to these people yeah they'll just they'll just create another account and hopefully the audience of these advertisers are pretty discerning enough to think that these advertisers are not doing this intentionally like right if you think about it like yeah. they're not doing this on purpose like tagging their ads on Nazi side. No, it's just so. it's just luck of the draw, man. Like they can't understand the randomness of this. Completely it, random. It's just that our in Jesus hates <laughs> Hyundai at the moment. Well, I mean, would it be a problem if it was next to pornographic material? Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, there is that possibility, right? That you yeah. do see these type of things online whether it's intentional or not like these things right. happen like is x any different x is different because x is in the spotlight and in the hot seat and on the chopping block and all those all those good uh metaphors and but especially the heat that it's getting at mm. the moment right yeah now well, Hyundai's big are... man yeah but if it's a political ad <laughs> Do you think the reaction would be any different or much more heated? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's just this this stuff. I don't know how you can, and this is pretty blatant. Uh, it's really, really abhorrent stuff. Uh, yeah, it's really crazy. This is it's so extreme that it feels unreal. Yeah, manufactured. Like it's just inflammatory. That's the point of it. That's what it does. Hyundai just so happened to get the luck of the a, draw. Yeah, it's got a bad little. They got a bad slot there. Um, you know how can how how do you think X can fix shit like this? Have it by default for one. <laughs> yeah, but but how if, like um, if they're gonna be cleaning the platform, I think they get pretty much check who uses it. Like I can understand Elon Musk wanting all the, all the people to have access to his platform, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, not be hampered. But for something this 
that is so obvious that certain just you don't need a degree for this. You just need common sense. Right. Like they could easily make an exception for these kinds of things. It's not even about double standards. It's just about doing the right thing. Right. Well, I mean, it's also I mean, how many daily users does Twitter have? Like, it's hard to moderate all this. Are you going to flag every time it says to Hitler or are you going to flag every time? This. But I don't think they're doing this manually. I think they're spending on algorithms actually to at least filter right. this out. So it wouldn't actually take them that long at all. Yeah, but I mean, where? How do you? How do you do that? Like, then, then you start basically flagging educational material, or you know, things that are anti. You know, I think there should. I think the main issue for me is that damn check mark. There should be different mm. categories for it to whoever uses it. Like have it a green color for it for education. Have a yellow color it for for science. Like. That's a good, separate yeah, the things that's a good, yeah like yellow or blue for general use like have the media their own check marks yeah at least have that one vetted and not be bought like these are the type of things they could actually do that could actually help them to actually that's a end, really good point and the uh, the audience to actually discern whether i would trust this guy with yeah sure you're verified but are, what are you verified for so in yeah what yeah what area are you verified like if you're just a verified human then you know and yeah that's good that's good uh we, we, we've been having all these type of colors for every type of thing that people are standing up for might as well have this up for x right i mean i agree you know uh it's actually not a bad idea i don't know if there's maybe some of the viewers know if this is a thing or if this has happened before but uh get a rainbow yeah. for lgbtq situations like well, i mean yeah you got know, it it doesn't have to just be in your bio right like that's actually make, good they, i mean make different categories for the check marks like have some that you think can be purchased generally by common people like like have it a, a premium one let's say make the blue for the everyday man and have different ones for the media make that pretty hard to get have those that are actually right. reputable to actually get it same thing with politicians right 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 well, it would be it would be the same kind of as like when you have to apply for like a press pass yeah so i don't think you it know, would be hard for them to actually do that it would open up even more doors for them when it comes to revenue i guess that's true that's and you true. can just actually use that tag when you're going to do advertising like if you put a setting there where where whose uh color uh check marks do you want these to be shown Mm -hmm. that's it that's that's yeah that's and good i like and that hyundai specifically mentioned that the target of their ads particularly for this one is basically politician if you have a separate color uh, tag or check mark for a politician they could just specify it yeah especially for advertisers yeah who do you want to like you know yeah. it's pencil much more companies advertising Pencil companies should probably be targeting, yeah, the education sector. Yeah, it's good. I feel it's a bit more non-intrusive because it's the account holder that's going to be choosing the category of his checkmark. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's man, that's good. Yeah, like it, it kind of divide Twitter into a, I don't know, like a like a cafeteria, right? Like which table do you want to sit at? Yeah, it turns them into a group of panels, right? Yeah, it divides up the experts based on what they're known for. It actually legitimizes the check marks a bit more. It does. I mean, you could go as far as maybe, um, you know, regular Twitter, right? Regular open, regular town square Twitter, whatever you can, you know, you can interact and do whatever, comment and all these things all you want. Um, but when you go over to these, to these other rooms, basically other sectors of Twitter, then yeah, you may, you know, you can maybe only observe and not interact unless you are part of that community. Yeah, and basically people, if they see your check marks, if you're not part of the community that people are interested in or you don't have anything to do with that community, they can basically take your opinion with a grain of salt, not necessarily just yeah. shy, uh, throw you out the door of right, the conversation, right, right. but at least hear your piece. Yeah. 
they can discern for themselves if they want to take it, then just move on with no harm, no foul. That's actually pretty so good. That's... It's kind of like Facebook groups, but public. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm saying that it would actually lead to more revenue for them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It. Yeah. You know, and, and kind of like the... I mean, you could even look at as as states, right? With the like the U.S., right? Like, um, each each little sector, or let's call it each each state, could basically govern itself. Although there would be an overall federal body that is yeah. President Elon Musk and and X in in as a whole. Yeah, because I kind of got this idea from the main problem that we're having right now with social media is everyone that does social media always mentions their influencers. Influencers of what? Hmm. So, the, the, does anyone that have a TikTok account automatic qualifies as an influencer? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know where the threshold is. Like, are you just on this? When? When? At what? How many thousands of followers do you graduate from user to influencer? I'm not general. Maybe I am generalizing it. Go ahead. But it feels like anyone who has these accounts online, they feel like they are influencers when it comes to their the way they actually promote their ideas like this the one with the australian account promoting the nazi stuff he or she might think of him or herself as an influencer but then again of what <laughs> that's well, why these are actually being created and i think that's basically the intent of these accounts so you actually right, just yeah. promote your own brand so separation of these would actually at least put safeguards in people when it comes to what they, they look or follow but, okay, I want to bring it back a little bit. I, I got a question for you. Um, let's say someone is pro-Hitler. Do they not have the right to say that they are? Like, even though everyone else is like, that's terrible. Yeah, everyone has the right to say what they want. But then again, there are consequences to these things, and you you also have the right to take those consequences. Right. I mean, that's yeah, that's the thing. If you're like, willing to accept the consequences, but then by all means, shout, shout into the heavens. I don't actually give I, an F. I, I think that's where the issue lies: is what are the consequences? Well, in, in person, terms of, you in terms can of get the industry, you know, like what what we have right now when it comes to. Say advertising, like ad right. Nazis, racism, pretty much frowned upon now. Right, right, possibly right. Possibly your bottom line or your profits is going to be hurt because of it. So that is one of the consequences of it. Otherwise, the, the shortest answer would be your parents just hating you. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, like online, there's it's really... I mean, unless unless this graduates into like a social security, like a uh, number for your online interactions, right? Where, you know, as you traverse the internet, it much like, much like a a, a passport, you know, you're 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 basically tracked everywhere you go, and then when you break the rules, there's some type of real world repercussions, not just your account yeah. is banned like okay i can still go to 7-eleven and call somebody a name especially during these times when anonymity is no longer an issue for everybody like before when the internet happened everyone is actually in agreement that they love their privacy but now everyone wants to be known by their name yeah like, yeah it's a, it's a weird phase that we're in where anonymity is actually suddenly out the door yeah true yeah there is no anonymity no one's interested in it. I think the that's part. a major consequence of it. Like, since anonymity is out the door, you're going to have to face the consequence of whether you want to make this your statement that is deemed actually hateful or not popular at the time to be publicly associated with your name. Right. That's the thing. That's the thing. We have to connect and attach this online behavior to your yeah. real person. And that's why I think having divisions when it comes to the check marks actually works because you're only going to be attached to what you're actually known for. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a great idea.
I'm, I'm behind that 100 percent. maybe i'll draft up an email to elon <laughs> what about you? do you have can... any any thoughts on how do you think they could actually handle this besides the check mark stuff um, like it, it, it other... is a weird thing like x is the only one that's getting flagged for this but but there is not a shortage of similar things on facebook uh i don't know it could be you know exposure that causes this you know because like i said twitter is very much in the spotlight almost constantly and uh the the the, the way people screenshot things and everyone it's, has receipts it's, now right it's amazing bro like this is almost uh this is almost like a like a special skill like i don't know how many times i've scrolled and i've probably probably seen something that maybe I should have but I don't think like that though yeah I remember the time when Kevin Hart's tweets were actually pulled up they really dug deep for that as well They're as deep. Uh, James Gunn's <laughs> yeah like they were so intent on actually finding shit yeah but I don't know man unless it's if unless you can hit them in the wallet or create some type of and you know like China's moving into the social credit score, yep. which is terrifying, but maybe a a more a less intrusive version of that somehow. I don't know, man, because I mean the internet's where where fuckheads go, bro. Like that's just where they are. Cause in in real life, so you're gonna get you're gonna get turned upside down in public acting this way. Yeah, and my final take on this is I think they should just set things on default on the things we've generally agreed are bad. <laughs> so <laughs> this this should definitely be a default setting, right? You, you, I I can understand their argument that the setting should have been done by Hyundai since it's their advertising. But pretty much everyone is in agreement that the type of thing that they were associated with with this ad is not good, <laughs> especially for the ones that are advertising. Yeah, you know, that's a default setting. And as soon as you go and change the default setting to like, I want to see this stuff, your yeah, account that's... is flagged. Like, that's yeah. a that's a red flag, bro, <laughs> if there's ever been one. It suddenly it turns into a catch-32, right? <laughs> so Yeah, it's like, you can turn this off if you want to, but, you know, it's just, well, uh, uh, I don't know that they can fix it. It's it's We'll see. I mean, they have to do something. They're losing hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars with just because of you know yeah. basically random uh random advertisement placement so yeah, they, yeah i don't think hyundai would hurt so much just because of this like they've survived the 1990s with they they can handle this one right so Anyway, to our Tech Times viewers, uh, hopefully you enjoy these episodes. We are actually keen on knowing if you have any other suggestions on how to better Twitter and how to make things much more safer for what we view. Like, please leave those suggestions uh, down in the comment section or if you just want to say hi, we welcome it. Yeah, or even if you so, have a suggestion how we could make this podcast better. Yeah, especially that one. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you wanted to go, want us to go naked on camera, we might. So <laughs> that'll be on Patreon. On Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do that on Patreon. So anyway. to take times on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe in a year. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you for joining us for another episode of Tech Times Daily. Uh, please, again, comment like subscribe all that jazz and on behalf of my co-host the great christopher short we'll see you in the next